Hello and welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. And today I have an American whiskey on the cask. It's not a Kentucky straight whiskey or something, it's a whiskey from Texas. And a bit unusual, but yeah, these guys in Texas try to do a whiskey and I've heard some, some good stories about that stuff. So today we have the Balcones Brimstone made from roasted blue corn. Blue corn is, I think, a brand of corn or a, I'm quite sure it's, it's a, a family of corn or a member of the corn family. And they are actually, they're actually smoking the corn. So it's roasted. And they did it, do it with uh, uh, this one of a kind corn spirit is smoked with sun baked Texas scrub oak using our own secret process. So, what I think is they go around and find stuff from oak trees that's lying around and hacking that to pieces and producing smoke with that. Um, they're not quite going into detail how they're roasting it, it's a secret. Um, batch from 19-3, so the date is the 10th of uh, January 2019, so it's last year's bottle, and uh, it should be campfire smokiness, but yeah, you don't have to use peat for smoking smokiness. I don't think they do have any peat at, at Texas, maybe they do have peat at, at their neighboring states. But uh, maybe they need to go two states over. But uh, they can do it with, with their oak as well. But uh, they probably have to uh, burn it very, very slowly. Because if you burn a wood uh, fast, it doesn't really produce much smoke. Smoke is only uh, produced when you have a very slow, glooming fire. And that uh, doesn't burn the wood fully or the peat and that produces partly burned material. If you have a very clean um, fire then everything you get is CO2 and I think water and that just rises off and is odorless and here you have uh, smoke particles that are containing phenols and these phenols is what we have in our, in our taste as uh, smokiness. So I think enough said. What, what is it? Is it uh, original Texas spirit? It doesn't even say whiskey. Word whiskey doesn't, doesn't appear anywhere on this bottle. Never chill, filtered, or colored. Okay, that's good. Distilled and bottled by this Balcones Distilling, Waco, Texas. <laughs> and they really have a city called Waco. <laughs> uh, I think they are known for their whiskey. I'm not quite sure if they are legally allowed to call it whiskey, but uh, it's basically whiskey. I think I already smelled something. A little bit of faint smoke already. Oh. Oh. Okay, that, that is now really hard to explain. Smoky. <laughs> okay, that, that is easy, but... So it's, it's really fruity, smoky. But what kind of fruity is that? Oh, that's what, like one of these uh, smelling games where you have a, a correct answer and it lies on the tip of your tongue, but you, you can't think of it. It's a, it's a, a very different smokiness to all the other smokiness. It's not medicinal, it's not barbecue, it's smoked peers, smoked fruits, smoked butter. But it's also sweetness. A bit, little bit of a barbecue note is in there, definitely. So yeah, 
amazing how they they find a new ingredient and uh, a very very different taste to all everything else what we have here in the market yeah it's a very special unique whiskey what they produced over there in texas hmm Mm. 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 Mm hmm. Whoa. So strong. It it really starts off very smooth, and it has fifty three uh, fifty three percent ABV. That's one hundred and six proof. So it's very smooth for fifty three percent ABV. For that high uh, spice um, alcohol content, it's peppery, it's spicy, it's smoky, it's dry, and um, fruity. So it's, there's a lot in there. But as the American whiskeys, it's typically it's intense. So you do realize they're probably using fresh casks. So there's a a lot in there. It's not a laid back complex differentiated weight whiskey but it's a, a strong whiskey with a lot of flavors and the smokiness it's hard to compare it with a, a peat smokiness but in terms of intensity i would rate it something like 25 30 around there somewhere around there but it's it's very different it's a it's a fruity smokiness where you realize the smokiness is really combined with the fruitiness. Mm -hmm. Also, very creamy. It's, it's a it's a strange drink. So I wouldn't categorize it in any category because it's just way off <laughs> from everything we know. You, I couldn't compare that to anything I've tried before because it's it's very different. A little bit of saltiness as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. The finish is pretty heavy, pretty dark. A little bit mineral or something like that. So oh, no, it's a bit overwhelming. So it's a it's a heavy one. It's not an easy one that you can enjoy on the porch just by your side because it's it will be really distracting because it's it's really intense with a lot of flavors and raw really raw intense flavors. But I like it. It's it's fun to drink. It's uh and it would be something if you come to your local tasting club and say, "Hey, look at that. I have a Texan whiskey or Texan spirit <laughs> and it's poo and I like the color and they're not coloring so I'm not quite sure maybe that's a bit from the caramel uh, definitely a lot from the caramel in the in the wood but usually when you come out with the spirit it's always clear I'm not quite sure how it's how it is here with uh, the roasted corn yeah so write down in the comments if you've ever tried them what you suggest is the uh, is the the flavor that you have in there because I'm I'm a bit torn between a few flavors and I'm I'm pretty sure I missed a few things that as soon as I turn off the camera they will come to my mind but <laughs> that's the that's the fate of it yeah so thank you very much for watching and see you next time.